the 2016 World Entrepreneur of the Year, Manny Stuhl, Australia. <laughs> If the company was a certain size, we could easily keep controlling it. But once you go, go beyond a cri critical mass, you can't grow a company without really great, great people on board. And those people have to be in, in, in um, our culture and our philosophy and our integrity has to be uh, integrated within their thought patterns so they can convey it to the next person, etc., etc. Fortunately, up till now, we've been able to do it. We're up to around about 300 people now. I had an ambition to succeed. Um, a lot of my friends have become doctors and lawyers and in the small community I was in Perth um, I wasn't perceived to be successful in inverted commas but I've always been driven. I've always been driven to succeed in sport which happened to be something I was really passionate about um, and I just turned my attention to business. I was very driven, I did everything myself which is a very fortunate thing uh, because I didn't have a mentor so there's no aspect of business I don't understand. And now I'm talking about distribution, warehousing, finance, selling. I did all my own selling, all my own packing for the first three years. But when I started to employ a couple of people, I would have Friday night, Friday night dinners at my father's place. And um, he'd ask me how my day went. He had no idea what I was doing. He was a cabinet maker. So he said, uh, so, uh, so how did your day go? And I said, I can't believe it. The, I've got two people working. They're not doing what I wanted. They're not doing how I wanted. So he, there was two things he said to me that have remained with me forever. One, not everyone was born to be a test pilot, i.e. don't expect more th from people than they're capable of doing. And the second one, which is an absolute ripper, and a lot of people should learn this one, whatever you pay a bad person is too much, and whatever you pay a good person is not enough. Particularly in this environment, whatever industry you're in, and in our particular case, you need to be up to date and appraised of everything that's happening. We know everything that's happening in the world, instantly. Um, we, we don't ever do product. We happen to be, in this case, a toy company developing toys and innovative toys, so we never do stuff that other people are doing. If we know somebody's doing X, doesn't matter what it is, we won't go after, after them. We will do our own thing, uh, innovative, creative, and keep away from the rest of the stuff, and it's been the strength of the company. We're, we're, we're a world leader in many, in many uh, different types of products. We've reached the stage where obviously we'll keep innovating. We bring out seven new programs each year and obviously as it's happening it's getting easier and better because with the, the team that we have and talented people we have. But our next big move will be into entertainment and our next big move will be into licensing. We have a movie coming out in, uh, in October I think that's based on one of our products. There'll, there'll be a lot more of that. We're also a leader in, in, uh, in online uh, advertising as well. We're the fifth biggest toy uh, bit fifth biggest toy spender on traditional TV in America and we're probably the cutting edge company in, uh, in technology and uh, online advertising. We do some great stuff. Now everyone's copying us, now we're, we're going to raise the game. So what's happened now is that we were, we, were, we were the disruptor, now people are chasing us to disrupt us and they're running to where they perceive us to be but we've moved way beyond that. We've gone on another stratosphere at the moment as people are going to find out in the next year or so. I think uh, business has got a responsibility to give back. Um, I think most business people have got the ability to ascertain um, where that money should go or how it should go, but I think it's a huge responsibility. You know, I, I studied a lot of the, uh, the ancient masters. If you look at uh, Lao Tzu, Buddha, Jesus, there's a common denominator amongst all of them. And one of the common denominators is, uh, is charitable work. We happen to be in an in industry where we're generating a lot of cash, so if this is the best that we can do, then we should be giving it back.